everyone, happy almost new year. Before we say hello to that new year, let's close out 2022 with the last of my monthly favorites. If you're new here, this is where I give you my top 20 favorites across the categories of beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle. So let's start with beauty. This is on my face. In fact, everything I'm gonna talk about is pretty much on my face. The number one favorite for me was a new foundation find to me, new to me, and it is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I'm wearing it in the shade 2N. To be fair, it's probably a smidge too warm or too yellow for me, but it blends in really nicely, and on really pale skin like mine, it lends just a little more warmth, so I am okay with that. When I have worn it, complete strangers comment on how good my skin looks. And my husband has been commenting on how good my skin looks, like to the point where he has walked up to me and put my face in his hands. And he's like, your skin looks incredible. What are you doing? I'm like, this, this is what I'm doing. Next is something brand new. It is from Buxom and they sent this to me in PR. And I'm so glad they did because I would have passed on this if I had seen this in the store. This is their lip plumping cream, but in the matte, formula. It's what I have on right now. I do have a little bit of lip liner, but what you are seeing is the matte lip cream in the shade Dolly. I love this shade. It's the most wearable everyday mauve tone. It is matte. It is similar in concept to a liquid lipstick that dries down matte, except it's nothing like a liquid lipstick that dries down matte. The only similarity is that it's matte. Other than that, I feel nothing on my lips. Like I would have to well, that's not true. I have the cooling sensation of the Buxom lip glosses and lip creams, but I don't feel anything on my lips. None of that tightness, none of the awareness that there's some sort of product here. And it wears off very nicely and naturally and doesn't leave a weird ring around my lips. And it doesn't leave my lips dry at all. So it doesn't have the exact longevity of a full-on liquid lipstick, but it is a happy medium and I love it. Now, it wears really well on its own, but I am extra and I love to pile on something on top of it, which leads me to my next favorite and I'm gonna put it on right now. This was a new to me find. This is the Chantecaille Lip Chic Lip Color. I have it in the shade Camellia. I purposely bought it as a lipstick that you could wear every day, but also it had a little bit something something going on with it. In this case, micro shimmers, if you wanted it for a more dressier, holiday look or any kind of party look. I heard back from so many of you, let me put it on. This particular shade is such a great my lips but better. But as I was saying, I've heard from so many of you that say you love this lipstick line and that I really need to look at some of the other colors because they're absolutely fantastic. Y'all have never steered me wrong, so I'm absolutely heading over to, that was Rowdy saying hello, he's stepping on his toy. We're gonna get to him towards the end of the video, by the way, one of his favorites. Uh, I am definitely heading over to Nordstrom. Actually, that's not true. I'm heading over to the Nordstrom website and I'm going to be shopping it and adding one of the other shades into my cart for a January Nordstrom video. I think I've talked about this over on Instagram, definitely mentioned it in the YouTube live that I did with Colleen Rothschild. And if you missed that live, it is okay. It is saved forever. As part of my regular videos, I will link it in all the places and down below as well. I had so much fun. Colleen and I have been friends in real life for close to a decade now, and it was the first time I've had someone live on my channel. It's the first time I've done YouTube Live itself in a really long time, and I really enjoyed it. So let me know what you'd like to see next in a live. I think that could be a lot of fun. But anyway, this is one of the new offerings from Colleen Rothschild, and first of all, the bag. The bag, I love her bags. It should not be about the packaging, it should be about what's inside. But what I really love about all the kits from Colleen Rothschild is that I end up holding onto the bags forever. I usually use them as travel bags, organizational pouches. This one is no different. This one I actually just fished out of my purse because it is the perfect size to hold all the little things in my purse. And it's this beautiful mossy green velvet. But let's talk about the actual lip products. So there's three and they're currently on sale, which is another reason why I wanted to mention it. This is the vitamin E lip moisturizer, squeezy tube cut on an angle, you know, so you can apply it directly to your lips. So this is great to keep in your purse for on the go moisturization. And I should say they all smell like brown sugar. It is delicious. This is the lip mask. And this is what I've been keeping in my nightstand. It's been amazing. I put this on at night before I go to bed. And then I haven't even had to use the lip scrub that comes with it that actually has real brown sugar granules in it. 
because the other products have kept my lips so smooth. But I was hit a couple weeks ago with what we call in San Antonio cedar fever, which means just allergies out of control. I was so congested, breathing through my mouth, headaches, all the things, dry flaky lips, thought I was gonna need to go for the lip scrub. All I used was the mask and a little bit of the, the stuff in the tube is not the name, lip moisturizer, and I was good to go, even with using this matte lip cream. So love these products. And then the last thing was another recommendation from a couple of you, and I'm so glad I took you up on it. I have been raving about the L'Oreal Hyaluronic Serum Foundation and complaining at the same time about the dropper top, and a few of you finally reached out and said, here's the link, here are the pumps that we've ordered. So this pump can fit as you can see, the Hyaluronic Serum Foundation. It also fits the True Match Foundation. I'm guessing it would fit a variety of foundations. And now that it's easier to dispense, I can tell you that I am using the L'Oreal Serum Foundation much more than I used to. All right, let's move into clothing favorites. First, something I recently wore, and this was 100% an impulse buy. I was at Walmart just doing my regular shopping, and I did a little detour in the clothing section and I saw these hooded poncho sweaters kind of on a display and I've always wanted one of these. I just love that look of the oatmeal colored poncho with a black long sleeve shirt and then leggings and some kind of boots and I just grabbed it. Now if you don't love the oatmeal, it does come in I think four other colors, four great neutrals. It's just such a great layering piece. Obviously it's been a little colder here than usual. And so I've been wearing it layered over cashmere tops, but it's, it's just great to throw in even in the house over whatever you have on. Okay, next is the sweater that so many of you went crazy for when I wore it in a recent video. This one is actually on pre-order. So you can order it now, it'll be delivered in January, which is only a few days away if you look at it like that. And it is the Jackie sweater from Avara, but in this beautiful hot pink. It is sort of like a scuba knit fabric. So it's a really fun fabric. It's a little different than your usual sweater material. I have the same exact sweater in salmon from last year, green, and maybe another shade as well. If you don't like the hot pink, I can link the other colors that are currently available. It's a great sweater. It's a fun kind of retro shape and it just goes with a whole lot of things. This is the season where I dress up more than usual. As you know, I'm a very casual person. I don't usually dress up all that often. One of the things I've been missing is a pair of nice black pants, or as my mom used to say back in the day, slacks. When was the last time you heard someone refer to dress pants or work pants as slacks? That's dating me. These pants were sent to me by Spanx and I thought I was going to hate them. No, I love them. These are the perfect pant, the wide leg. Now I am Basically, I'm five foot four. I'm like this, like a, like a tiny bit under five foot four. And I order them in petite. And I've been finding for me, the petite is the way to go on the Spanx pants. They do run kind of long. I went with the sizing guide and it said I was a size small. I doubted it and they were correct. So they know what they're talking about on the Spanx website. Another helpful thing to look for on their website on the individual pieces is the reviews are dead on. It'll say if it runs true to size, runs large, runs small. So definitely factor that in when you are picking your sizes. But for me, size small, and I love them. They do have pockets, they do suck everything in, and they are not uncomfortable, which is for me a major feature in all of my clothing. Whether it's dressy or casual, it has to be comfortable. So I love these. I don't have a discount code anymore, but a lot of my friends do. So I will put somebody's on there uh, so that you can get, at least get their discount so you're not having to pay full price. On the other end of the budget spectrum are the Sophia Jeans Seamed Palazzo Pants, another recent discovery from my latest Walmart haul, my last Walmart, Walmart haul of 2022. I already have one planned for 2023, don't worry. I got a little sneak preview of some of the things that are coming for January in home, in clothing, and in beauty. So just as an aside, what are you most interested in? I can haul anything. Like I don't need an excuse to go shopping at Walmart, but would you rather see more home stuff, kitchen, home furniture, <coughs> accessories? Are you good on the clothing? Should I split it 50-50? There is a squirrel. There is a squirrel right outside the window and Wrigley has finally noticed it. I am so sorry. Anyway, get, give me your feedback down in the comments, but let's get back to the seamed Palazzo pants. If you are looking for jeans that are a little bit dressy, I know that's an oxymoron, but not so much in this case. These are the perfect jeans. I'm, can you tell how excited I am about them? I love 
them. I had a pair of denim palazzo pants way back, I think like in the 90s, and I loved them. And I'm so excited that they're back. Sophia jeans run more on vanity sizing, so I'm a size four. They're super soft, they're super stretchy. You will not be disappointed. I will say if you're petite like me, you will need to wear heels with them or take them to a tailor because they do run long as palazzo pants generally do. And then the last fashion favorite or clothing favorite, I should say, is what I have on here. This is a sweater I have purchased, I think three or four times in different colors. This is the most recent version. It is sort of a bat wing sleeve, oversized turtleneck tunic sweater. Obviously I have it in the cream. I have it in a reddish. I have it in a rust. There might be a black one lurking around somewhere. It's just a great closet staple. Amazon has pretty much year round. I don't know where, where you would wear it other than in the winter, but I love this cream one. And what I like about it is that it's not bulky and it can be worn because it's long over skinny jeans or leggings, but because it's not bulky, you can do a little tuck, a little front tuck and tuck it into a different pair of pants or jeans if you'd prefer that. Now we have accessories. We have to start with something, I should have worn a different sweater so you could see it better. I think you've seen this in a bunch of my recent videos because when I got this from Kendra Scott, I put it on and I've only taken it off one time. It is from their Ari collection, which are all the little hearts. And this is a little crystal pave heart necklace. And the chain is adjustable. You just slide the bead or you can make it really short, which really helps when you wanna layer pieces or wear the same piece and adjust it for your different necklines. So I'm just gonna tuck this guy in, but this is so beautiful. And I think it would make, I know it's a little late for gifts, but birthdays and other celebrations are coming as is Valentine's Day. I think this would make a great gift for any occasion. It's so pretty and delicate and it goes well with everything. Sticking with the jewelry, let's talk about these little guys. So these are part of the Dune collection from Dean Davidson. I think it's his most famous collection. And I saw these little huggies and I had to have them. They remind me of a similar huggy that I have from Kendra Scott, but these are a little more delicate and in stock. <laughs> That's always helpful. And I just, I love them. And I love this more yellow gold tone and it works well with everything that I have been wearing. And I have a feeling when I start traveling again, this is gonna be one of the pairs of earrings that I always take with me on my travels. It's just a great everyday, kind of different from a stud, a little bit more than a stud. And I do have a discount code, 25% off all Dean Davidson, which is very generous, and it's Gold Girl 25 I'll put that down in the description box. A third pair of earrings, I bought this a while back. These are a nice thing to just have when you need them. These are the CZ, teardrop earrings. I mean, I guess you could wear these every day if you're into it, but these are the kind of earrings that I pull out when I have a dressier daytime occasion or I'm going to a more understated occasion. Obviously, these are not real diamonds. That would be awesome, but they do the job and they are a lot more budget friendly. I can't even imagine what this would run if this was a real diamond. I have a pair of shoes to give you an update on. Clearly I love them because I'm including them in my favorites. Finally bought the Rothy's pointed toe flats. I say finally because I feel like all of my friends have these and have sworn by them for years and I just wrote them off as some sort of Facebook gimmicky thing. No, these are incredible. I sized up did I size up a half? I did. The sizing guide said to size up a half size. I did. So I have these in a seven and a half. I've never felt anything like these. Now, if you need orthopedic or, and I don't mean that in a, in a negative connotation, but a ton of support, arch support, insole, all that, these are not for you. But if you have within the range of normal type needs for your shoes, these feel like you are wearing nothing. I feel like I'm barefoot. I almost need to look down at my feet to make sure that they're on. When I wear these out of the house, I often forget to take them off and I just continue to go on my day in the house with them on. As soon as I took them out of the box, they just molded to my feet. Now they're meant to be worn without socks. This is all breathable. What's really nice is the whole thing is washable. The insole just comes right out. So if you want, you can just wash the insole on its own, but you can throw the whole thing in the washing machine. If you wanna freshen them up, obviously they come in a ton of colors and patterns. I went with the cheetah print or leopard print. I still don't know which one is which, but you know what I'm talking about. And it has the little blue accent here, which I guess all Rothy's do. They make other shoes. I'm eyeing their sneakers and I think it's like a loafer type style, but this one is pretty. And I should say my husband 
hates flats. He hates me in flats. But when he saw me in these, he said, those are actually sexy, which is a really awkward segue into my next accessory favorite, but you know me, I'm the overshare. So I just ordered a new pair of these and I thought I'd share them since they're brand new. They're not out of the box. They've never been on my body. And I'm talking about nippies. I've been wearing these for, not this particular pair, obviously, but nippies for years and years and years for a variety of reasons. You might not want the poke through that happens from time to time, whether you're wearing a bathing suit that doesn't have a lining and you wanna cover the thing. There's just so many reasons. I purchased these, so I don't really need bra support. So sometimes when I can't wear a bra, I'll just stick these on so nothing's poking through. They don't jiggle around much. Benefit of man-made boobies. So uh, you just wanna cover these. Now these come in two sizes. And they recommend it by cup size, which, you know, okay. I will say it's more about nipple and areola size. I cannot believe I'm talking about this on YouTube, but they come in this box. They also come in three or four colors, I believe. So they've really expanded on the skin tone range. They come in this nice discreet box. And then I'll just show you what they look like. They're super thin, super, super thin silicone, and they blend seamlessly with your skin. You will not see a ridge. Like I have used the cheap ones before, like the Hollywood ones, and you'll see like it's a round, like that. no, we don't, that's the last thing you want going on. So anyway, it has this nice little backing and you just pop them on and there's no ridge, there's no seams. And then when you're done, you rinse them and you just put this little guy right back in and you put them in the case. You can use them for so many things. Um, I'll just say, okay, we're just going there. Another reason I wear these often is when my kids are home, walking around braless with your pajamas on, it's maybe, it's uncomfortable for everybody involved. So I don't wanna walk around in a bra in my own home all the time. So I just pop these on underneath my jammies and we're all happy. Okay, moving on to lifestyle favorites. Hope I haven't lost you guys. It's my last one of the year. We're going out with a bang. Let's start with the new year and a new calendar. I always order a desk calendar and this is a new to me brand. All of the months have these beautiful individual cards with some sort of metallic print on it. I like these over say the Erin Condren version and a couple other versions. One because it's just a little more elegant, especially with the gold easel that comes with it, but also because the numbers are bigger and it's easier for me to see. So I got this on Amazon, and the other thing I like about it is they don't sell out like other brands as quickly anyway, so I'm happy to share that with you. Next, more things for my desk. I probably talked about these before, but these Pentel uh, fine point ballpoint pens, I love them. I still write things down. I'm old school, I like a pen and paper. I can't have anything stick in my brain unless it's been written physically by me. So. I'm always taking notes, I'm always writing down ideas, and I love all the colors. I'm partial to the purple and green that come in this five pack. Next, this is, I've been waiting for this point in this video this whole time. This is glitter dust for drinks. So I don't know, this might come a little too late for you to get this for New Year's Eve, but this is an excuse to plan another party. You put this in drinks. I did this with some girlfriends. We had a little party a couple weeks ago, and we had champagne, and you pop this into anything. You can do water, juice, and it makes the drink shimmer. So let's just do a little bit here. Okay, I got the red shimmer, and I'm gonna need to stir it up. Okay, this was a bit of a fail because all you can see is this pretty color, but I don't think you can, can you see the iridescence that is happening? This is Fresca. This is now pink Fresca. It doesn't have a taste, but it makes your drink shimmer, like a like an opalescence or a, lumin, a luminescence. So. There's different colors. If you want just more of a true shine, go with the silver or gold. I don't know why I went with red. I thought it would be fun and make it look like pink champagne. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about something that the dogs have been loving and that has been highly recommended by our veterinarian. They recommend that dogs chew on something hard to clean the plaque off their teeth, but Rowdy has been banned from most hard things like knuckle bones because he cracked one of his molars. And so I don't even want to take this out, but let's do it. She recommended the Himalayan Yak Cheese Press. So this is exactly what it says it is. It's hard as a rock. And as they chew on it, it gives a little, so it's not quite as hard. It doesn't have quite the density of an antler or a knuckle bone. So it's a lot safer for them, but it does the job of getting the plaque off their teeth. 
You know I love to recommend my dog favorites too. And then lastly, little family update, our younger son, Shane, graduated from Ole Miss this semester. I say graduated, but they only have one ceremony in May. So he'll walk in May, but he finished his classes this December. He is done. He finished in three and a half years. And so he had to bring all the things home with him from winter break because he's not going back. So I sent him the classic space saver bags so he could pack up all of his clothes, suck them down and get them all in his car. We will come back sometime after graduation and pack up like the actual furniture stuff, but like all his personal effects, obviously he wanted to bring home. This did the trick, it was fantastic. And now I'm going to use the leftover ones to store some of my out of season clothes. So it was a win-win for everybody. All right, those are all of my favorites. The last of my favorites from the year. It is always fun to get to the end of a new year. Beginnings are always fun, whether it's the end of a month, the end of a year, even the end of the week, I'll take. But this is my last video for me for 2022. So thank you to all of you, whether you just joined me this year or you've been here for years. I am so glad that you are here. Hopefully you're still here at the end of the video to hear this. Be safe in whatever you're doing for your celebrations on New Year's Eve, and I will see you next year. Bye.